In this video we are going to build our foundation for the animation sets so we can switch a, a, a set of animations when we change weapons for example so let's start by going into our scripts folder and select in the gameplay subfolder then behaviors finally the characters uh, folder and let's create here a new mono behavior script so let's uh, create C sharp script and let's call this one animation set that you need to compile and once it's done double click on the script to open it in your Visual Studio or other IDE you might be using So what we want to do here is to add references to all, uh, all of our animation clips that we have uh, currently, uh, similar as what uh, the uh, mechanism system works, where you add the animations into the animator controller. So those are already known by the system beforehand. So what we want to do is uh, similar to do uh, that system and for that uh, what I will do is to go into the animation clips itself. So we have the character animations here or animations clipped and I will duplicate those and add the unarm prefix on them. But let's start by script in our component in the first place okay so first of all let's add a using statement for any monster and I will set the namespace to be on the data this is going to be a data asset so we need to change, instead of using mono behavior, we're going to change this to be a scriptable object. Let me remove the seal property here and change this one to scriptable object. In order to create this data asset, let's create an asset menu. So create asset menu and then we add the menu name is going to be let's say dark rpg slash animation set there we go for the file name the default file file name we can add new animation set and let's add order zero to the menu there we go now let's start by adding our clip transitions and mixer animations so the first one i will add the header here and let's call this guy locomotion then i will add a serialized field so we can see it in the inspector this is going to be a private clip transition and then uh, this is going to be the idle transition and let's add a public getter and setter clip transition idle there we go now let's continue with uh, remaining ones
now that we have our animation set script let's go back to unity let it compile and we can in our uh, game project we have created already a data folder so let's create here a subfolder and let's name it uh, animation animation set and let's open up this subfolder and now here we can create our scriptable asset so from the main menu we have the create dark ARPG and now we can rename this one to unarm animation set or move set and as you can see here in this vector we have the slots that we need to populate with all our uh, animation clips that we have already so let's go into our animation characters animation clips characters and uh, we can lock this inspector so we can keep it at sight and then what I will do is to duplicate all of this animation and add the unarmed prefix to them so uh, let's create a notes folder and let's uh, rename it to unarm and let's start with the uh, walk animation here or animation clip let's create a duplicate add the prefix remove the one suffix at the end and let's move this clip to our new subfolder there we go alright so I have created all the animations in the background and now we can start assigning them into the each slot so let's start walk well actually this is the idle and let's let's do it better so let's add here another inspector tab so it will be right away to the right like so and let's select once again our scriptable object and now let's go back to the animation clips and let's lock this inspector And we can start dragging so walk then we have the jog sprint jump back step we have the roll next dash forward dash right dash backward and dash left now for the um, the dash strafe and walk and jog those are mixer 2d and we need to add a set of uh, animation clip for each uh, transition mixers or mixer transitions so if uh, you remember uh, how to configure those we can go to the actual player prefab so let me scroll down and let's search for the prefabs folder there we go characters hero open the player prefab and we can expand it and search in the states game object there from here we can see the dodge state and if we expand uh, either the stray for the dodge we can see how it was configured before and we can copy this configuration into our animation set so let's lock this one 
and now uh, we can start adding the dash animation so we need to change the type to directional we need to pass the direction again and uh, this mixer animation has four clips so let's add four entries there we go and let's start with the unarm dash forward dash right dash backward and dash left and the next step is to change the x and y axis so we need to start with the forward one in the y to be one in the dash right one in the x in the dash backward minus one in the y axis and minus one in the x axis for the dash left that's it for the dash animation set now let's do the same for the strafe walk so let's see how we got before and uh, in this case we need five animations we need to add the a duplicate for the idle animation let's change again the type for directional and let's add five slots and now we can assign the animation clips accordingly so idle strafe walk forward strafe walk right strafe walk backwards and strafe walk left and again we need to assign the axis so let's do for the forward in the y axis one walk right one in the x axis in for the walk backwards minus one in the y axis and minus one in the x axis for the walk left collapse this strafe walk and let's do now a strafe jog let's uh, add four entries in this case and we need to change the type I can remember to change the type to directional and assign the animations accordingly and after that we can change again the axis There we go, now we have our animation set ready. So what we need to do now is to let Animancer system to use these animations instead of the clips that we added in the previous session. Okay, let's now restart the layout and from here we can close actually the prefab editor and we need now to tell our character component uh, to know about this animation set so let's find the character script in the behaviors character and let's open up in Visual Studio and if you remember mono behaviors uh, have an order of execution so we need to make sure that our character states are executed after our character component itself so for that purpose we are going to add here in the header the default script execution to make sure that this character component is going to be executed before the assignment of our animation clips So let's hard code 1100 for the time being, minus 1100 for the time being. This will make sure this script will be executed before other script in the hierarchy. 
and we need to add our serialized field for our animation set so maybe right before here when we set the state machine so let a serialized field and this is going to be private animation set and of course we added this class in the data namespace so we need to add a using a statement pointing to that namespace so rusted game data now we have no errors and we can call this one default animation set if I can type there we go and we can create also a public getter so public animation set default animation set there we go and the next one is another serialized field this is going to be the current animation set that we are actually using current animation set And let's create another getter that we can call later on from our character states. Not default animation set, current animation set. Okay, so now we have these two properties uh, or variables, realized fields. We need to go to the or assign the current uh, animation set to be the default when we start the game so let's do that here in the awake and let's say current animation set is going to be equals to our default animation set and that's everything that we need to do here in the character script so let's go back to unity let it compile Here we go. So now uh, let's open up again the player prefab and assign the default animation set to the proper slot. So I scroll down and here in the character script we have now a default animation set. This is the only one that we need to assign. So let's go back to our data folder and inside the animation movement set drag the unarm animation set as the default animation set there we go close the player prefab editor edit mode and let's continue now so now we need to let our character states to know about these animations that we have in the animation set. So let's start by the with the locomotion state actually. We have here our clips that we added uh, in the previous sessions or videos and we need to let this state know that uh, instead of using these clips it needs to use uh, the clips assigned or referenced in the animation set so let's add the awake method maybe here after the current animation call so let's add some room here And let's type awake 
and what we need to do is just assign from the character reference that we already have in each character state call the current animation set and call the clip that we have assigned there like so so for idle current animation idle and let's do the same for the remaining animations so walk equals character current animation set walk and let me fix this typo here then we have the jog equals character current animation set jog and finally the sprint there we go so this is everything that we need to do here and we don't need to worry about the animation that is going to be returned because this is when we play the the animancer component it's calling this current animation set the current animation method that will return the proper clip according to the movement of the character itself so let's do a quick test now so let's go back to unity let it compile once again okay don't mind these warnings about the volume the shaders we are going to remove it later on no worries so let's clear out the warning messages and now uh, we can just hit the play button and select from the hierarchy the player game object and scroll down until we saw the character animancer component we see here also that the default animation set was transferred to the current animation set and right away we can see that the idle animation is the unarm animation idle so seems to be working properly so uh, right now if I jog we can see also that the unarmed jog is being used of course I don't have in this time the my controller so we can only jog in this case we cannot walk but uh, fair enough seems to be working so let's continue now to let the other character states to also use our animation set yeah now that we know what to do next let's open up the remaining character states in Visual Studio and from here we can start for example with the roller state so we have the main animation and similarly as we did for the uh, locomotion state what we need to do here in the awake right before we call anything else from this uh, uh, main animation for example the uh, animation event to change the flag whether we can roll or not and also you can use this one to add some sound effects or particle whatever so we add here in the main animation and we set it to our character again the reference that we have in the character state base class for the current animation set in this case is going to be the roll and save the changes and that's everything that we need to do here so let's go now to the let's see the back step so we need to do the same thing main animation is going to be equal to the character current state and anim current animation set sorry and back step now 
Now, for the Dodge state, we have clips transition and also mixer transition to the okay. So let's scroll down and in the awake method that we already have here, let's add the same thing. So for the back step character current animation set dot back step then we have the roll and finally the dash However, the dash is a mixer transition to D and uh, there is no assignment or we cannot assign it uh, or like the same way that we did for the clip transition. But uh, Animancer API has a copy from method that we can use to accomplish the same result. So let's do copy from character current animation set dot dash. That will be it. Let's clean up a little bit the code and let's move on for the next one, jump state. This is only using a main animation clip, so easy, easy enough. Character current animation set jump. So let's see, locomotion state we already did. Uh, okay, let's go to the strafe. In this case, we have a couple of mixer transition to this, so we need to use the copy from again. Uh, let's see, we don't have a, an awake method, so let's create the awake method again. And let's copy the strafe walk movement and do the copy from character current animation set dot strafe walk and let's do the same for the strafe jog movement strafe jog there we go and let's Let's remove all these comments that we don't need anymore to keep the code tidy and clean. There we go. So save your changes and let's go back to Unity. Okay, so now we can proceed to run our final test. I have connected my Xbox controller, so let's hit on play to start play mode. Let me select the player game object and once again let's scroll down until we see the character animancer component and let's test, test the animation set and we can see that the on arms animations are being selected. Now we have with the controller, we can walk and jog, sprint, and all the animation clips are pointing to our animation, on arm animation set. So this is working as expected. And uh, what we can do later on is uh, to create a scriptable object for each animation set for the weapons that we are going to be using. So I'm happy with the results so far. We can see that the strafe are also working. So yes, on the next video we are going to start building the animation set per weapon and also uh, start talking about the uh, UI system and uh, creating our menu 
to start the game and also uh, how to save our customizations into org safe system and make sure that the uh, current animation set assigned depending on the weapon is safe uh, uh, alongside as well as uh, our uh, equipments that we did previously when we equip the, the helmet and unequip it so we can be sure that we are saving our changes into the org safe system so if you like the content uh, please subscribe and um, thumbs up like and share if you don't like it well don't like it and see you on the next one